What is SAP HCM, and what are its main components? SAP HCM, Human Capital Management, is an SAP module that manages HR data, processes, and transactions. Its main components include personnel administration, organizational management, time management, payroll, and benefits administration. What is the difference between personnel administration and organizational management? Personnel administration manages employee data such as personal information, employment history, and job details. Organizational management, on the other hand, manages the organizational structure of the company, including positions, departments, and reporting structures. What is a personnel area and a personnel subarea in SAP HCM? A personnel area is a unit within an organization that is responsible for personnel administration. A personnel subarea is a subdivision of a personnel area that can have its own policies and procedures. How does time management in SAP HCM work? Time management in SAP HCM manages employee time data, including work schedules, attendance, absences, and time off requests. Employees can record their time using various methods such as time clocks, self-service, or manual entry. The system then calculates hours worked, overtime, and other time-related data. What is payroll in SAP HCM, and how does it work? Payroll in SAP HCM calculates employee salaries and wages based on various factors such as hours worked, pay rates, taxes, and benefits. The system also generates pay slips and can integrate with other financial systems for accounting purposes. What is Benefits Administration in SAP HCM? Benefits Administration in SAP HCM manages employee benefits such as health insurance, retirement plans, and other employee benefits. The system can handle enrollment, eligibility, and processing of employee benefits. What is Employee Self-Service in SAP HCM? Employee Self-Service S, is a feature in SAP HCM that allows employees to view and manage their personal information, such as personal data, pay slips, and time data. S can reduce administrative workload and increase employee satisfaction. What are the different types of personnel actions in SAP HCM? The different types of personnel actions in SAP HCM include hiring, termination, promotion, transfer, and change in employment status. What is the purpose of SAP HCM infotypes? Infotypes are used to store employee data in SAP HCM. They provide a structured way to store, maintain, and retrieve employee data. Each infotype represents a specific type of HR data. What is the purpose of SAP HCM personnel subareas? Personnel subareas are used to group employees based on geographic location, job function, or other criteria. They can have their own policies and procedures related to HR data. How does SAP HCM handle time evaluations? SAP HCM uses time evaluations to validate employee time data and calculate time-related pay elements such as overtime and shift differentials. The system can also handle complex time rules and exceptions. What are some of the HR reporting features in SAP HCM? SAP HCM offers various HR reporting features such as standard reports, ad hoc queries, and analytics. These reports can provide insights into employee data, such as headcount, turnover, and performance metrics. How does SAP HCM handle employee benefits enrollment? SAP HCM can handle employee benefits enrollment by allowing employees to self-enroll or by providing a centralized benefits administration process. The system can also handle eligibility rules, coverage options, and cost calculations. How have you integrated SAP HCM with other SAP modules or external systems in the past? Experienced professionals should be able to provide examples of how they have integrated SAP HCM with other SAP modules such as SAP SuccessFactors or with external systems such as third-party payroll systems. They should be able to explain the challenges they faced and how they overcame them. Have you worked on any SAP HCM customization projects? If so, can you describe the customization and its impact?
Experienced professionals should be able to describe any customizations they have implemented in SAP HCM and explain how they impacted HR processes and reporting. They should be able to discuss the technical aspects of the customization and how they ensured compatibility with future SAP releases. Have you implemented any HR automation projects using SAP HCM? If so, what was the project scope, and what was the outcome? Experienced professionals should be able to provide examples of HR automation projects they have implemented using SAP HCM, such as automating HR workflows or self-service functions. They should be able to discuss the project scope, timelines, and outcomes. How have you managed SAP HCM security and authorization in the past? Experienced professionals should be able to describe how they have managed SAP HCM security and authorization in previous projects. They should be able to discuss the roles and permissions they have defined and how they have ensured compliance with company policies and regulations. How have you managed data migration and conversion in SAP HCM implementations? Experienced professionals should be able to describe how they have managed data migration and conversion in SAP HCM implementations. They should be able to discuss the data mapping and cleansing processes they have followed and any challenges they faced during the migration. How have you managed SAP HCM upgrades and enhancements in the past? Experienced professionals should be able to describe how they have managed SAP HCM upgrades and enhancements in previous projects. They should be able to discuss the upgrade or enhancement process, how they tested the changes, and how they ensured compatibility with other systems. How have you handled SAP HCM user support and training in the past? Experienced professionals should be able to describe how they have provided user support and training for SAP HCM users. They should be able to discuss the training programs they have developed and the support channels they have used, such as help desk or online support tools. Thank you.